through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Drop it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic, hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 219. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're going to give you our DVD rundown for the week of January 8th. Mm -hmm. Our second one of 2013. Ooh, flying through the year already. Yeah, I know, seriously. <laughs> I don't even want to think about that. Um, you know, I would say it's a modestly interesting week. You yeah. know, some decent stuff, I would say, overall. Pretty solid. Yeah, work. not bad. The first one we're going to talk about is sort of the, I guess you would say, the headliner Probably. of the week. And that is the release of Dread. Mm -hmm. The, not, I mean, there's a, th there's a, Probably, yeah, there's a 3D version yes. of it available, but you know, again, this is TV 3D versus yes. 3D. Um, but this is the reimagining of the same comic character as the Stallone one. Yes, which Judge Dredd. Probably was why a lot of people were a little bit worried when mm -hmm. that came to light. Yes. Needless to say, the stars Carl Urban as mm -hmm. Judge Dredd, and it's a much more sort of. Um, I would say much violent or true to It's definitely much more material. higher, and it's also much more about him being in the mask. That was the mm -hmm. whole thing with yes. the Stallone was that he wasn't wearing the mask. Yeah. It was more of a Stallone movie than a Dread exactly. movie. And so he tried to find as many reasons as possible to take the mask off so that he could right. be seen as Stallone. But, you know, it's a cult comic character, mm -hmm. and it really seems a much more... Um, Respect that yes. origin, so it it, it did it, fairly well. Yeah, I mean, it got it. I mean, it got pretty good buzz from people who saw it, either, both in fans of the original source material and just like people who were expecting it to be bad, like the Stallone one. Yeah, but you know, in terms of like special features, it's it's got some good stuff, but it's strangely missing like a commentary hmm. track, which I think would be a no brainer for yeah. something like this. But you know, it's got a um, a feature at about thirty five years of Judge Dredd. It's got uh, a feature at about the visual effects of it, which is one yeah. of the big parts of the movie because the drug. That that they take like slows yes. down time. Yes, I think, yes, for exactly. Them or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you've got one about uh, the third dimension making mm. it 3D, and then there's one uh, a dread motion comic prequel, which I think sounds mm. cool. I like yeah. motion comics. You know, yeah. like the Watchmen one was a lot of yeah. fun and stuff like that. Very so, cool. uh, you know, pretty solid release. Plus, you got the 3D Blu-ray, digital copy, and ultraviolet all in one. Not quite the full gamut of them, but you know, a decent but still selection. Still pretty, pretty nice and packed. Mm -hmm. uh, next up again, a similar sort of one, but one covering the full gamut. It, mm. Frank and Winnie, which, which you got the Blu-ray yeah, 3D, the Blu-ray DVD digital copy. Kids movie and Tim Burton and a 3D movie between those things. It's like, if you can get... <laughs> it's not something you'd have everything together. You know, uh, it's a it's a decent movie. I liked like, it. Like, I enjoyed it. Like Thinking back on my like top uh, animated films of the year, is probably number four. Interesting. I, I think I went Paranorman, Wreck-It Ralph, mm. Brave, then Frank and okay. Winnie. I can uh, see that. It, it means it does not to say it's bad. This no, is yeah. probably one of the strongest I mean, it's years. It's still number four. It's still one of. The, I would also say one of the strongest years for animated films. Yes. When Pixar is number three, <laughs> yeah, like that yeah. really speaks to how strong. And that's not even saying Pixar did something wrong. No, it's yeah. Not like Cars that's just two or something. Animated film. I mean, you got what like um, Studio Blue. Where is it? Or, yeah, Blue. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, you got stuff like Ice Age. Ice Age four. The fourth most successful film this year, eight hundred seventy-five really? million dollars. Good yeah. God! It's only behind uh, Avengers, Dark Knight Rises, and Skyfall worldwide. Wow! Yeah, yeah. for 2012. Yeah, <laughs> I tell you, like those, that franchise crushes it. Crushes it. Yep. If there isn't an Ice Age five by like the next two years, I'd be shocked. Yeah. And um, if you're a voice actor out there, and someone calls you for uh, doing anything on Ice Age, say yes. Yes. Yeah, Just always say yes. <laughs> but in terms of Frank and Wayne, you know, it's it's a fun little film based on a short from Tim Burton, obviously mm -hmm. from back in the day. But again. The, His this, first short. The special features are a little bit surprising. Really? There's no commentaries of any sort, really? which I think would be really interesting, especially yeah. since it's made from something he did so many years yeah, ago. Yeah, you'd think that the the exodus of that, you would want to discuss something. Yeah. About. But you got, um, you got an original short, Captain Sparky versus the Flying Saucers, which sounds cute. Cool. You know, I like more of that universe. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got... Miniatures in motion, bringing Frank and Winnie to life, which I'd love to sort of see the behind the Always scenes. Always love the stop getting. motion mm -hmm. uh, discussions. Uh, there's one about the Frank and Winnie touring exhibit that they did along with the movie, oh, which yes. I would have loved to have checked out, and I would love mm -hmm. to see more information about. And then you have the original short. Hmm. So, I mean, good stuff, but there's some obvious yeah. gaps that yeah. are missing. I don't know why they couldn't have done that, but, you know. Maybe Tim Burton by this time was already had phoned it in so much that he didn't well, it's care. a shame, because it's the first Burton film in years that I I've legitimately enjoyed. Probably I, since Big Fish. <laughs> yeah. And I it's mean, the that's first, 2003 or so. And it's the first Burton film in years that's been based on original material, mm -hmm. not just a reimagining of something that already existed. Yeah, so, so it's like, come on, man. What is, what's wrong with you? Yeah. It's a, it's a shame, but, you know, it's, a, it's an enjoyable yes. production. I just wish there were more special features. I but, would agree. You know, if you like it, it's got... 
every format mm -hmm. imaginable. So. Mm -hmm. One that I believe that we're both in agreement on, Archer. Yes. Season three is coming out this week. Uh, both of us are big fans of the mm -hmm. TV show. Probably, I don't know, probably my top ten of the TV shows oh, that yeah. I watch. You know, I love it. It's probably... It probably might be my favorite animated show on. I can't uh, think yeah. of anything oh, yeah. I I'd, like more than it. It would be, oh, that would be a hard discussion, but I would say it's definitely got to be number I one. I can't think of two. anything that would beat it. I really enjoy uh, me some Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers is so, enjoyable. But, but I don't Archer, think it adds on the caliber. And by the way, the fourth season starts on the 17th yeah, of this so it month. it starts right around this time. And right. in the fourth season, there's going to be a Bob's Burgers Archer's crossover episode. That's Which funny. I don't understand how they're even going to do it, especially since H. John Benjamin voices the both titular characters. Yeah. <laughs> I, it, it'll, it'll be interesting. I just, I just think Archer is more interesting and oh, creative. Oh, yeah, it's such than, a great show. I mean, it, it's Adam also Reed one is of just the genius. darkest shows on TV. Like, period. <laughs> like, I can't think of anything like when he goes on the cancer rampage. Mm -hmm. That had to be one of the darkest storylines yes. I've ever seen on yes. TV and to have something like that be able for to For a it comedy dark. it's incredibly dark. Yeah. It's so, incredibly dark. But it's, it's but so, third season so good. So funny. Um, great, well cast. great cast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the, the the release you know again TV shows really don't do multiple formats plus yeah. digital copies so you get like the Blu-ray or DVD or yeah. whatever. But you know you got some commentary tracks for El Contador Drift Problem and Los Scandalo. Mm -hmm. um, you've got Heart of Archness extended version which awesome. I'm very curious to check out because yes. that was a great great episode. Mm -hmm. Um, you have answering machine messages, which I yes. think sounds hilarious. <laughs> yes. H. John Benjamin would be like the <laughs> yeah, best answering yeah. machine possible. Yeah, because so much ad lib between those people, well, I can't well, I even mean, imagine. Outside of like that uh, George answering machine mm -hmm. message from Seinfeld, like I don't know anyone yes. that I would want more to do an answering machine <laughs> message than it's to true. Ch And the final one is cooking with Archer. I don't know what exactly that will entail, but it sounds like it'd be funny. I hope it's recipes. I think it'd be hilarious. Yes. Like drinks or yes. like, yes. like I, I can only imagine what kind of stuff Archer would teach you to cook. So. I, I'm I'm surprised there's not a something in their hidden oh god game there might two be. trailer. There there's, might be some hidden th stuff. Well, I, I only say that there's got to be another um, Raptor episode because the mm. last two seasons have had an episode basically like. The, it was like, I think the unreleased pilot and an unreleased something where everything is the same, but Archer, instead of being animated Archer, is a raptor. Still talks it's the same, entirely does everything possible. the that, same. That might yeah. be an option There's under that. That'd be pretty cool. ridiculous stuff. It's but, a great show. Yeah. Uh, the final one, mm -hmm. one of uh, the films you enjoyed a lot last year, yes. Samsara, is coming mm -hmm. out. Uh, again, you know, since it's a smaller company, it only comes out on Blu-ray, DVD, yes. etc. Um, you were a big fan of this movie when you saw it. Yeah, I saw it at Cinerama here in Seattle, so on the big 70 was, yeah, million. million. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, I think maybe th not 3D. No. No. I don't think it was 3D. No, but uh, same people who did, I think, Baraka, I think yes, was the name of the did. film. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a narrative without actors or you know it's this more visual narrative so it's the scenes with music behind it and it's it's really fascinating it's a uh, it's hard to explain but it's like a nature documentary in the sense of you're just kind of witnessing something awe-inspiring but without a narrator telling you what you should be thinking about it so very cool. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the release, they have some filmmaker interviews, some behind-the-scenes stuff, and a trailer. Mm -hmm. um, not a heck of a lot, but yeah. you know, you take what you get with yeah. this smaller sort of release. Exactly. This is the kind of movie that you rent on Blu-ray, and you go to your friend's house that has the hugest TV that you, and you all just sit there and turn come, off all the lights. Come to Scarecrow; they have a 60-inch TV coming Indeed, in, so that yeah. might be a good uh, place to check mm -hmm. something like that good out. Place to screen it. But uh, that's it for this week. Mm -hmm. Join us for our next episode. We're going to be talking Josh Brolin uh, in yes. honor of Gangster Squad. And as always, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well done. Uh, you can find us on MacGuffinPodcast.com, mm -hmm. Twitter.com/slash MacGuffinCast, Facebook.com/slash MacGuffinPodcast. Phone number. 323-761-9842. We're on iTunes. We're on Blip.tv, Miro, Roku. Check in and get glue. Get some badges. Leave us some uh, reviews on iTunes. Mm -hmm. and uh, Leave us some comments on the social medias so we can YouTube all that stuff. Yeah. Um. <laughs> you join us next time. See you. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. It's tight. Don't even try to bite the sun. Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Borg can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.